Over the past few months, AMD has been teasing the release of the new Ryzen 7000 series and AM5 platform. The company has already provided us with some glimpses of what we may be expecting with these new chips. The Ryzen 7000 series, based on AMD's most recent Zen 4 architecture and manufactured on TSMC's 5 nanometer production node, has been subject of some truly amazing claims made by the firm. By all indications, Ryzen 7000 looks to be a lot better than we expected. But is this actually the case, or is it just smoke and mirrors from AMD? Let's find out. The Ryzen 7950X AMD takes the lead with its top of the line processor, the Ryzen 7950X. This processor is a 16 core replacement for AMD's previous flagship model, the Ryzen 5950X. Compared to the Ryzen 5000 series, AMD claims to have an increase in IPC of 13% and an increase in the maximum frequency of as much as 800MHz to 5.7GHz. This translates to a total claimed single thread performance gain of 29%. Additionally, the 7950X has a TDP of 170 watts and a combined L2 and L3 cache of 80 megabytes. Comparing the Ryzen 7950X to the Ryzen 5950, AMD is showing performance increases in gaming ranging from 6% to 35% across a variety of titles and performance improvements in creation workloads ranging from 32% to 48% across the board. AMD also cited the example of Chaos Group's V-Ray, in which its 7950X scored 30,168 points, whereas Intel's 12900K only scored 18,646 points, demonstrating that AMD's product performed 57% better. This is outstanding. This is even more surprising when it considers that the TR3970X has a thermal design power TDP of 280 watts, whereas the 7950X only has 170 watts. It's a real tribute to AMD's attention not only to the peak performance, but also to power efficiency and performance per watt. AMD has put a lot of effort in improving these areas. Compared to the 12900K, AMD claims to be 57% more powerful and 47% more efficient with its power consumption. Now onto the lineups. Here we can see the Ryzen 7000 series in comparison. This time around, all of AMD's CPUs consist of four different models. The Ryzen 9 7050X is at the top of the lineup, followed by the Ryzen 7900X, 7700X, and 7600X, which have clock speeds of 5.7, 5.6, 5.4 and 5.3 respectfully. Because thermal design power, TDP, is still a metric that AMD uses to measure power, the company states that the 7950X and 7900X are 170 watts while the 7700X and the 7600X are categorized as 105 watts. This is despite the fact that the power can fluctuate above and below these values. Core counts are exactly where you expect them to be, 16, 12, 8, and 6 cores down the line. AMD also talked about the Ryzen 5 7600X, especially when compared its performance to the Intel's top of the stack chip, the 12900K. They claim that their processor performed 11% better than Intel's chip. The 7600X, which is at the bottom of AMD's enthusiast lineup and has half the cores of the Intel processor, has an overall gaming performance that was 5% faster on average in 1080p, which is much more CPU dependent than higher resolutions. This is really impressive. Zen 4 Design the chief technology officer of AMD, Mark Papermaster, delved deeper into the design of the Zen 4 processor and discussed how it implemented AVX 512 for artificial intelligence acceleration and how it increased IPC by 13%. In order to determine that Zen 3 offers a 13% improvement in IPC, AMD compared the geo mean of 22 distinct desktop workloads to the Zen 3, and Mark Papermaster explained that the majority of the improvement was due to the improved front end and the larger cache. He also discussed artificial intelligence and high performance computing acceleration with the AVX 512. This is not so relevant to users of desktop gaming platforms in the same way that is relevant to the users of data centers and workstations on other platforms. Mark Papermaster also discussed the technological benefits of utilizing 5 nanometer and how the Zen 4 based 7950X has significantly improved in comparison to the last generation by a margin of 74% at 65 watts TDP, 37% at 105 watts TDP, and 35% at 170 watts TDP. This bodes incredibly well for AMD's next laptop parts that are based on the Zen 4, which we presumably expect to see around the duration of CES if the company's typical cadence is to be believed. CES is an annual consumer technology trade show. Mark also has made comparisons against Intel's Outer Lake performance cores in terms of the area of power proficiency. 
He claimed that the AMD CPU had 50% less area and 47% more energy efficiency than Intel's Alder Lake performance cores. This is because AMD only uses one type of core in their processors. On the other hand, Intel offers cores that prioritize performance and efficiency. Astounding to us also, AMD promises that its processors will use up to 62% less power while it's maintaining the same level of performance as the Ryzen 5000 series processors, as well as provide 49% greater performance while consuming the same amount of power. The AM5 platform. AMD's Dave McAfee, CVP and GM of the desktop PC business, discussed the platform and how AM5 will expand the overall system's capabilities. The AM5 platform from AMD will include a new 1718 LGA socket that can offer up to 230 watts of power. This will allow for increased and improved overclocking capabilities and maybe some headroom for faster chips in the future. AMD5 also adds support for DDR5 and PCIe 5.0 to the platform and will continue to receive support from AMD until 2025. AMD is releasing four distinct chipsets for the Socket AM5 architecture, the X670, the X670 Extreme, the B650, and the B650 Extreme. The Extreme editions of these chipsets are the only ones that enable PCIe 5.0 for graphics and storage. AMD has been hard at work for constructing a PCIe 5.0 storage ecosystem in relation to the storage. The ecosystem will have drives available beginning in November 2022, and fingers crossed we will be able to use Microsoft's direct storage. AMD's David McAfee also presented a new memory overclocking technology that the company calls AMD Expo. AMD developed this technology to bring simple, one-click memory overclocking to the company's platform. AMD asserts that its new technology will enhance gaming performance by as much as 11%, reduce latency to as low as 63 nanoseconds, and do all this without requiring a license or royalty payment. AMD says that there will be 15 kits at launch with speeds up to 6400 MTs from all the major memory manufacturers. Pricing and availability. Lisa Su, the chief executive officer of AMD, was happy to summarize all the recent developments on the Ryzen 7000 series and the AM5 platform. In addition, she discussed the pricing and availability of AMD's CPUs. The Ryzen 7000 series will be available in its whole beginning on September 27th. The Ryzen 5 7600X will have an MSRP starting of $299, which is $100 more than the 5600X, but is comparable to the price at which the 5600X was initially offered for sale. The Ryzen 7950X will have a maximum price of $699. This is $100 less than what the 5950X was selling at the time for its introduction and $150 more than what it is selling for right now. This is to be expected as the product is getting closer and closer to the end of its life cycle. In addition to these CPUs, motherboards based on the X670 chipset will be available in September, while boards based on the B650 chipset will be available later in October. The Ryzen 7000 series makes so many great advances in performance power, it will undoubtedly be a significant obstacle that its competitors, namely Intel, will need to overcome. Despite this, we have never been opposed to the idea of healthy competition. The Ryzen 7000 series is an excellent illustration of the positive effects that healthy rivalry can have in the industry. There you have it, the Ryzen 7000 series. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below any other video ideas you may have in the future. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay tuned for later uploads. Thank you so much and have a great day.